Changing your omega-3 index is easy and safe and can be relatively inexpensive. Omega-3s, EPA and DHA, are found in fish and other marine life. Um, fish actually get their omega-3s from phytoplankton that make it themselves in the ocean. And so the fish can't make omega-3s, we can't make them very well either. And so we always have to get it from our diet. The omega-3s EPA and DHA are found in certain kinds of fish, especially ones that come from colder waters like salmon. Um, and those fish uh, can have varying levels of omega-3s based on their diet. We have general ideas of how much omega-3s are in servings of, of certain fish, and we've provided them in a fish table with your report. And so you may be able to choose better fish to incorporate into your diet that will actually give you um, the omega-3 benefits. You may be eating fish every day, but if all you're eating is shrimp or tilapia, you will not be having um, a good dose of omega-3s, EP and DHA. You may also hear that omega-3s are in things like walnuts and chia seeds and flax seeds, and they are, but it's a different kind of omega-3. It's called alpha-linolenic acid, and it is the primary essential omega-3 that your body absolutely needs to function. However, this omega-3 doesn't have the same um, research-based benefits as the longer chain EPA and DHA omega-3s. We can make EPA and DHA from ALA in our bodies, but this is a really slow process and not very efficient. And so it's much more efficient to get your EPA and DHA in what we call the preformed um, preformed EPA and DHA. So in other words, you don't want to eat a lot of ALA and count on your body to make a lot of EPA and DHA from that source. It's much better to eat fish or take it from a supplement. The other option for increasing your omega-3 index is to take a fish oil supplement or an omega-3 supplement. Now, choosing supplements is difficult and confusing, but you can follow a couple of tips and probably find a supplement that'll work for you. The most important thing about the supplement is the dose of EPA and DHA specifically. To find that out, you should not trust the front of the label. You wanna turn your supplement um, around and look at the supplement facts panel. Find the serving size. Is it two pills, three pills, one pill? And then you wanna go down the list and look at levels of EPA and DHA listed individually. And it should be some kind of probably between 100 and five or 600 milligrams of EPA and DHA. So you wanna add up those two, EPA and DHA, and then you'll know how much you're getting um, in your supplements. And then you wanna take that information and you want to look and see how much did the supplement cost? Is this um, ethically sourced? And you can make all the other decisions um, based on where the supplements come from that you want, but you have to make sure that you're actually getting a good amount of omega-3s in your supplements.